there's a dream you have dreamed concerning somebody who's dead. And from there, your body started to feel pains all over your body. I even told my husband that I feel pain here. Eh? You feel I pain? Told, uh, yeah. Where is your husband? It's after you have dreamed a dream of I someone who passed on. Dream, strange dreams. Eh? I dream strange dreams. And since then, you feel pains. It's a very serious pain. Yes. It's a spirit of death. It will never happen to you. I told him that, huh? I, I, told him that I dreamed one of my late friends and she, they, they passed away, two of them. That's what I'm talking about. But God is setting you free. Amen. You won't die. Come on. Come on, you demon. Come on. Out. Come on, you demon. Can you just go to her and put a mic there? What are you doing to her? <gasps> what are you doing to her? Speak out. She must die. She must die. Yes. Why do you want her to die? I don't know what the huh? minister. I can't hear you. I don't know what the minister. So you can oh. see, this is the spirit of death. Oh, son, of oh, death. Oh, son, then we put Muti there and she picked it and threw it away. You say what? On Sunday, we put a mood there. And when she was minister, she took it. Did she you find it? it? Yeah, we, I woke up around 5 o'clock. And then when I, I'm supposed to go to pray in the church, she said, I must sleep. I said, no, God says I must go and, uh, and pray. Then I went early in the morning with my, my little children. And then I prayed there. And then she came later around 6 o'clock. And then she found the muti there. So you're the one who wants to kill her. Yes. Leave her now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. She's free forever. My name is Pastor Isram Skuriana. I'm from Zanini at Litsitele. The lady next to me is my wife. Uh, the prophecy was 100% true because it happened on Sunday. Uh, I don't just wake up early in the morning and go and pray in the ministry. I almost go around 7 o'clock to pray. Then this Sunday, I went around 5 o'clock. And then when I wake up, my wife said, no, it's still early. You can sleep and then you'll go late. I said, no, God said I must go now. Then I went with my two daughters, and then we prepared everything in the church, and then we started praying. Then I left, I went back to the house, and then my wife came back also to pray. She found the muti next to the pulpit, and then she kept it outside the church. And then uh, late after the church, uh, she showed me the muti, it was a powder inside a small plastic, which uh, I, I, I just declared that this moot is from the soil. I put it back to the soil. It won't work for us. Then I destroyed it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So today when the man of God located you, how are you feeling? I was happy. And then I'm just lucky that all the time he located us. But I was happy that... Uh, when the man of God is locating you, which means God is with you. Yeah, I was very happy about this. And then I know that the end of our problems in the ministry, in the family are over. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus' name. As I used to tell people in my ministry, I tell them, love God because God loves you. Don't love God because of the material that he blesses you. Love the one who's blessing you, not because of the, the blessings he's giving you. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for you and your wife. We believe that today you are blessed, you are free in Jesus' name. Amen.